Hello, how are we doing? And uh, we're back in Guernsey and we're going on a nice little drive. We're going, well at the moment we're going around the coast, west coast, and we're heading, what, north? And we're gonna go around here a little bit, then through St. Peterport. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the ride along. We've got a nice day, it's about 20 degrees here in Guernsey. Hope everyone's doing good. And uh, heading to work. Now, where do I work, I hear you saying? Well, I'll tell you if you hang around. So we're just going around past the uh, Smelly Pond. So I'll try and point out places of interest as we go. It's, God, it's a bit hot in here, I'm just going to my window a bit. So speed limit varies in Guernsey. Yeah, it's like around 25, 35, depending where you are. Some places are 15, some places are 10. Got a beach down there on the left. So uh, has everyone been watching the Channel 5 Guernsey and Jersey, or Jersey and Guernsey shall I say, I did a short on it before asking what everyone thinks of it, so quite a few comments, a lot of people have been saying they're focused a bit on Jersey too much, or they're focusing on just one thing and not a variety of things, which was my initial thought really, uh, I, you know, I get why they're doing it, but Maybe they should have done a little bit more different things, I don't know. But we're only a few episodes in, we've got, what, more to go, we'll see. So we're just heading round to the Peninsula Hotel, which is just around here, right in front of me, that's the Peninsula Hotel. Grand Ave in front of us, which is about. There's a nice little place here, look on the right. Uh, it's called the Poffin and Oyster. That's a car park there. Nice place, recommend it. If you like seafood, pop in there. Look it up on Facebook. I'm sure they've got a Facebook page. Most places have. So you see the speed change around here. So this is. 25 miles an hour around here so I better slow down a little bit so I'm not caught speeding so this area around here is called Lilay Lilay Junction let me know if you've ever driven around here I certainly have I drive around here all the time so I'm going to go past Oatlands then along the front through St Peterport up to St Martin's where I'm going to work today. No, I still haven't told you where I work, have I? Or you may know by now. Well, the answer is it's not that simple. Like, I work quite a few different places, all doing the same thing, but I move around. So you'll be able to see it when I get there. Exciting. It's not really. It's not really that exciting. Don't don't sort of. Up Get your hopes up too much. I'm not a brain surgeon or anything, but you probably worked that out. That's Phil, I know Phil. Oh, he didn't hear me, he's got his headphones in. <laughs> so, have you ever driven in Guernsey? I know I always ask that, but I'm driving, so I think it's quite a good question to ask. Here's the big bosses, Lele boss. Now, we're not allowed to drive on the pavements. So I've got to stop if I have need of them. So just on the right here is our M&S, M&S food. Speed limit back to 35. And we got the Guernsey freezer centre on the left, but it looks pretty derelict. I don't, even, I don't even know if it's open anymore, to be honest. So right in front of us is Oatlands Village. It's a family retreat. 
So it's good for the family, they've got a soft play area. I'll show you the entrance. It's also where uh, I've got a business there, salon. Karma Beauty. Well, that's more my wife, but we both do it together. Uh, what well, they got a soft play, they got a nice restaurant in Oatlands Village called The Kiln. They got a florist, they got loads of things there. It's like a little, you know, it's quite nice. God, it's hot. It's not even the window. It's, um, yeah, it's one of those days where it's windy, but in the sun, very warm. So I hope you can still hear me. Make my window a bit. So here we go. Look, this is Oatlands Village in front. Car park's just on the left in there that's where you park there it is left down here this is Oatlands Lane so you can see 20 mile an hour and it's got a cycle lane on the right so we do have cycle lanes in Guernsey this is a one way road so no cars should come down towards me but you never know, stranger things have happened. I'm just putting the aircon on because it is hot. Oh, it's not too noisy. I'll do the windows up, put the aircon on. We go. That'll cool me down. Off we go. So on the left here, you got a little walkway for pedestrians. This is really narrow. Believe it or not, this is a two-way road. So like, this, it's impossible to pass if you meet two cars. So you do have to pull on to the pedestrian bit. Whether you should or not, probably not, but there's nowhere to get past. You gotta be very careful. Obviously you wouldn't pull on there if there's someone walking, but like this, look, look at that. See how quick that was? I mean, this this road, should it be too, I mean, God, it's so small, isn't it? It should be one way, really, but I understand why it's two, because, you know, it makes sense. Right, back to 35 miles per hour. Clear off we go. So you see how it changes, pretty much like the UK or anywhere else, depending where you are, speed zone change. It's just the speed zones here never go over 35, that's the difference probably. The roads are quite bumpy in Guernsey. I'm just noticing now I'm filming, the camera's just bouncing around everywhere. I haven't really noticed before, to be honest. But... So I hope you enjoy the drive-alongs. You know, it's just a different style of video. I used to do a lot of drive-alongs, actually. I got out of doing them, because I do a lot of walking ones now, but I thought I'd do a drive-along for a change. Always good to see more, you get to see more places on a drive-along, I suppose. Because I cover more area. So halfway, so we've got the La Fontaine pub on the left. Who's been in there? Now it drops to 25 here. This is Vale Road. And I know it drops to 25. Do you know how I know that? Because I got caught for speeding on this road years ago. I was going this way, a policeman stepped out from the right hand side, somewhere around here, pulled me over. And I was doing 35 in a 25 or might have been 34 in a 25. Um, I didn't go off the road, so I can't really remember what happened. I might have been fined, I can't remember, it's a long time ago. I definitely had to go to the police station to produce my license and insurance and all that. Here we go, filter. No left turn. along the front so we've got pedestrian and cycle path on the left I 
I also work down there on the right, down that road. as warm as it's been it's been warmer I'm not complaining it's days like this I'm so pleased about air conditioning in my car just close the windows and uh, you cool down nicely Quite a few buildings on the right here for finance industry, which is pretty big in Guernsey. I'm not in the finance industry. You may have guessed. Well, thanks for all the comments about different things with the videos I do. Love reading them. Just thought I'd do this one today as a little change. Always good to show people uh, the roads in Guernsey. Obviously, it's quite a bit different to the UK. We know we haven't got any A roads or motorways in Guernsey. Nothing like that. This this is pretty much as big as the roads get. The coast roads are probably maybe slightly bigger, but not not that much. Um, no trains. We have we do have buses and we do have taxis. Although there has been a taxi driver shortage recently, but I think we're getting the numbers back up, which is good. Because you couldn't get a taxi for love or money a while ago in Guernsey. You just couldn't get them. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough taxi drivers. So heading into St. Peter Port. Using the roundabout. This is the biggest roundabout in Guernsey. I'm gonna go left here. I must change lanes. I changed my mind. It's a pretty big lorry in front. So I'm going to go up the Val de Tears, which is a big, long, windy hill. Busy time ish for Guernsey at this time. What's it? What's the time? Uh, 10 past 2 in the afternoon. Yeah, busy ish. where you'd probably recognise if you come here on a cruise ship this is the sort of area you'd be be wandering around this bit because this is where the cruise ships come in around here so look speed limit 20 here so this is 20 I'm doing 20 now this is taking us south, heading up to the parish, St. Martins. Now will be nice to so let one go. Oh, there's no one here to cross. All right, through the filter and turn. In front is Albert Pier. So this is where you get off the cruise ship, you come onto this pier. The, the cruise ship obviously doesn't actually come here, but there's little tender ships that bring you to that pier normally, or around there. So this is the 
we're kind of heading up to the Val de Tears. So this is where they do the hill climb racing in, in the island. So on bank holiday Mondays, they close off all this area. Uh, this is all the pits on the left and right for the cars, for the racing cars. And the start line is a little bit further along and uh, they race up the hill as fast as they can to the clock. There's all different classes. There's go-karts, racing cars, single-seater racing cars, motorbikes. I don't know, the start line's around here somewhere. Probably around here. And they race up. And they're doing more than 25 miles an hour. Here we go, Valtez, up we go. Has anyone ever cycled up here? Let me know in the comments. I don't think I ever have, and I don't actually think I've cycled down it, neither. Pretty sure I haven't. I, if I have, I've got no memory of it. Oh, there's someone cycling, look, on the pavement. Oh, should you be cycling on the pavement? Well, it's very handy for cars because you're not stuck behind them, but I'm not sure if it's good for pedestrians. What do you think? I don't know if I can remember, but I didn't think you are technically meant to cycle on pavements. Let me know in the comments. I'm not the police, don't worry. I'm not a policeman. Far from it. lines round here or slightly back. So, St Martin. I say St Martins but um, a lot of the signs are St Martin. I think it's actually St Martin isn't it? I don't know why how I managed to put the S on it. is Havland Road back to 35 and it's small but that's what happens sometimes so you see a lot of people pulling for you around these lanes Guernsey is very good everyone's courteous when they drive sorry if you can hear the air conditioning noise I've got it on low but it's too hot otherwise See, we've got a bit of wind. Right, let's head on up. Okay, I'll put you out your misery. If you're wondering where I'm going to work, I am going to work, I'm nearly there, so I might as well tell you, at Green Acres. Now it used to be Green Acres Hotel. Does anyone remember that? But it's now a dementia unit. And that's where I work. Now and again, I work there once a week. So what I do is I go in and I do seated exercise classes for the residents. So we do exercise, get all their joints moving, get them strong have a bit of fun, play some music. That's part of my job. Uh, the other part is I work in a gym. Getting people fit. But I go around a lot of these places. I go around a lot of uh, 
care homes in the island doing exercises for the residents. They love it, they have fun. And uh, yeah, so if you live in Guernsey, you know anyone that wants any exercises in the care homes, do one-on-ones as well for residents in care homes. If you know anyone, or you've got a relation or uncle that you think could do a bit of exercise, it's very gentle, it's very sensible, and that's what I do. There you go. Let me know in the comments who knew that, or was it a bit of a surprise? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching if you made it to the end. Nice picture of a wall there, having something built. Remember, uh, click the screen to watch another video. And if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey, remember to subscribe. Until the next time, take care. I'll see you on the next video.